Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Riker, back at you with another review. And today we'll be taking a look at the AEW Unrivaled Series 9 Powerhouse Hobbs. Yes, this is a review I've been wanting to do for a while. I know some of you have been waiting for this. Like, I promised this like two months ago, but it took me a bit, but I finally got my hands on this guy. I stopped at a GameStop recently and found almost the whole set of Series 9. So I apologize for taking so long, but hopefully this makes up for it. And it kind of seems appropriate that I'm reviewing this figure now because he just won the TNT title earlier this week. So, you know, kind of seems appropriate. Anyway, starting off with the packaging, of course we got a uh, Powerhouse Hobbs down here. He is number 78, Series 9, on Rebel Collection. Got a picture there. Of course on the side, number 78, Series 9. Um, the letter for him is a G. And on the back, a uh, picture of Powerhouse Hobbs. This is from Rampage, Grand Slam, September 24th, 2020, in Queens, New York. Now, does that mean this event is, is either this outfit, the one on the front in the orange, or the actual outfit? Because it's like three different outfits. I mean, here you got black and orange. Here you got, uh, in the picture, you got complete orange. On the back here, you got you got black um, with an orange border and flames. So which one is it? Whatever. And then at the bottom, we got the other figures in the set. You got Eddie Kingston, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, Christian Cage, Thunder Rosa, and of course Powerhouse Hobbs. I already did reviews of Eddie Kingston, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, and Thunder Rosa. So if you have not seen those reviews, check those out. Christian, now that I saw him in person at GameStop, like I found almost the whole set, except for Ricky Starks and Andy Kingston. Anyways, now that I've seen Christian in person, I might get him, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Christian. I mean, I don't hate him, it's just that I never really, like, loved him growing up, or even now. But it is a pretty cool figure, though. So maybe I'll get him, we'll see. Anyways, that's it for the packaging, so let's open up Powerhouse Hobbs and see what we have. We'll be right back. All right, so here's Powerhouse Hobbs out of his packaging and pretty nice solid figure. I have a couple issues with it, but still a pretty nice figure. Like, not the greatest, but it's all right. Anyways, let's take a look uh, first up his accessories. He comes with uh, two pairs of hands. He has the standard uh, fist hands. And I don't know what the heck to call these ones. I mean, they're kind of fists, but they're also kind of not. Um, these hands were with, uh, with wrist tape. I don't know what kind of pose that is. I mean, I mean, it's kind of a fist, but also kind of not. It does come with an alternate head, which we'll take a look at uh, in a second. Anyways, uh, zoom in. All right, the default face with a little um, with a little expression. I like. It's supposed to be the same expression that we see on the front of the packaging. And I like it. I think it's a good expression. I think it looks like him. That's not perfect. It could be better. But still, not too bad. And he does come with a more blank expression face. Which, as far as it actually looking like him, I like this one better. But I like the expression on, the, the expression on this one a lot better. But I think they're both decent head sculpts. Uh, nice job on the hair. And the beard is okay. Could have used a little bit more, uh, an extra coat. But not bad. Now, moving down, here's where one of the problems gets in and uh, comes in. I think he's too small. I mean, I mean, he's a big guy. I mean, judging by the picture here, like this torso should be a lot bigger, like like just a little bit, like a little bit wider. I don't know. I think he's too small. Anyways, great job on the tattoo. Nice detail on that. And then, of course, the black singlet with the orange outline says uh, Powerhouse. And on the back, it's a uh, solid orange up here with the FTW logo, and it says Hobbs. And then moving down, it has just very small black knee pads. I wasn't expecting these knee pads to be so tiny. <laughs> these are probably the smallest knee pads outside of the uh, women figures. But very small. And yeah, very unique, nice boots. Uh, it says uh, Willpower with uh, black straps all over the place. Very cool. Um, articulation is pretty standard for um, these AEW figures. Now here's where the other complaint comes in, that his joints are a little bit loose. But anyways, a head can rotate 360, 
It does have the hinge at the neck here, so it can go up and down. Arms will rotate 360, in and out, rotate the bicep, double jointed elbow, uh, rotate at the wrist, then the hinge at the wrist. has the upper torso joint, which can go all over the place, you know, forward, back, left, and right. Um, swivel at the waist a little bit. Legs forward that far, which stinks. And then back, in and out, rotate the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the boot, hinge at the ankle, and then kind of pivot, I guess. I mean, it moves a little bit, but so a few limitations here and there and loose joints, but it's fine. Oops. Uh, that was my fault. His foot wasn't positioned properly. Uh, that was my fault. My bad. Uh, for, for a couple of comparisons, uh, here he is first up with the, uh, with the man he defeated to win the TNT title. Dang, this figure does not want to stand up. Uh, Wardlow. There we go. So, close in size. But not bad. I'm going to set Wardlow off. And then the other figures from Series 9 that I have dug out right now. Uh, Brian Cage and Ricky Starks. Which, if I'm not mistaken, were also his stablemates from uh, Team Taz. Which, that's cool. I think they look great together. I think they display nice together. That's what I mean. I think uh, Powerhouse Hobbs' torso should have been like this. Maybe a little bit bigger. So he has the same problem that Brian Cage has. Uh, they're too small. I mean, both of them are huge, huge guys. Like, they needed bigger torsos. But really, overall, really nice figure. Like I said, it's just a shame. It's just a shame that he uh, has loose joints and his torso is too small. But other than that, very nice figure. Plus, if you're a fan of Powerhouse Hobbs, I would say definitely recommend picking him up, especially now that he's the TNT uh, champion. You should be able to get him, no problem. He's actually been restocking a lot. He was restocked on Amazon, Ringside, and he's starting to show up at GameStop. I mean, like I said, I walked in and I found him as well as most of Series 9. The only figure I didn't find was uh, Eddie Kingston and Ricky Starks, which I already have anyway, so it doesn't matter. However, he does sell out. They only, they only had one left of Powerhouse Hobbs, but they had like two of everybody else. So I'd say if you want him, Definitely pick him up. Like I said, just be worried about the loose joints. And also if you can get past the uh, his uh, torso being a little too small. But aside from that, very nice figure. I'd say pick him up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my other reviews from Series 9, such as Eddie Kingston, Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, and Thunder Rosa. And stay tuned for a possible review of Christian Cage. Be sure, to, be sure to check out my AEW figure reviews playlist to check out every AEW review I've done up until this point. So check those out if you haven't seen those. And also be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single review. And stay tuned for more reviews of WE action figures, AEW action figures, toy hunts, stop motions, and more. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, remember, you can't touch my dream and you can't touch my soul. I'm out. Take care, guys.